guys i hope you're doing great welcome back to a pack family channel uh today we're not doing a vlog but rather a review and we're gonna be reviewing uh whistle 3 uh which is the device that i use to track my dogs uh the reason i the whistle 3 comes in this uh, box which is pretty simple to open uh we just pop it right open in the box is going to have the main device which is this right here that's what's gonna uh, be attached to your dog's collar and uh, it's got the battery and everything um, uh, gonna take this out we also are gonna have the attachments that are gonna make it attach to the collar they have different attachments uh, this is the standard one and this basically uh, has two ledges uh, and I'm going to show you here the second part of it that uh, attaches to it. So you're going to put um, this piece uh, along with this one. Um, it just clicks on the back. And uh, once you click it together, uh, basically you can uh, just slide your uh, dog scholar uh, through it. And uh, yeah, once you have that, you can just uh, plug the device in. This specific attachment uh, did not work for me last time. Charlie was able to get a hold of it and uh, completely destroyed it. Uh, let me take you back to that. <sighs> Charlie, why do you choose to be the way that you are? Chewed up uh, the whistle three, still works. Uh, but it's pretty beat up and probably won't handle much of him. Um, so yeah, I guess we don't have a GPS tracker anymore. Uh, and we'll have to get a new one. Thank you, Charlie. So from then, uh, I contacted them and uh, they uh, gave me a brand new device. I had no charge, which I was very surprised. So as far as our customer service goes, uh, five stars. The reason I started using this device was uh, referred from a friend. Uh, a couple of months ago, we moved to a new house, this house, and uh, one of our gates uh, was left open and our dogs got out. Uh, Charlie was uh, found by my neighbor, but my other dog was lost for two days. Uh, eventually, we ended up finding him. Um, he had been hit by a car and it was just unfortunate. Uh, and he passed away by the time I took him to the hospital. The whole time that he was gone, I was just kicking myself for not having some sort of GPS or a way to track him because had that been the case I would have been able to find him and he still would have been with us today so after that happened I decided to get one of these and never had that happen to me ever again uh, the whistle 3 it's uh, pretty easy to install whistle 3 does come with a membership uh, that you have to purchase the price I believe is about nine dollars a month or you can uh, buy the whole year like I chose to do and that comes to $95.40. To be honest with you, I saw this about a year ago and I did not purchase it. I thought it was too expensive. I thought uh, it was so necessary. After my dog passed away, um, I was mad at myself uh, for putting a price tag on my pet's life and uh, I'm not gonna let it happen again. So if you think that's too much money, uh, I don't know, just think of whatever else you spend money on, you know? Um, for me, it's just uh, for me, it's just a good idea. Just knowing where my dog is at all times, and in the case that he was to get lost like my other dog did, I will be able to find him uh, within a short period of time because the GPS will tell you exactly where he's at. Alrighty, the first thing that you will need to do uh, will be to plug it into the charger. Um, you plug the charger into just a regular uh, box, and then uh, you're going to connect the main device into the charger the same way you put it on the collar. You press it in and turn it to the right and uh, just give it one second and a light should pop up. Uh, that light indicates that it's charging. Alrighty guys, next you're going to download the uh, Whistle app and that's the app that we're going to use to uh, track our dog's uh, location as well as its activity. The Whistle app, uh, it has that whistle that looks just like that uh, and then uh, once you download the app it will ask you to create a profile for your pet. Uh, it's like uh, you can upload a picture, do how much you weight, and then uh, it also ask you to set the perimeter around your house. And it will let you know whether the dog is out, uh, whether the dog is uh, far away from your house. Once you get all that done, it will kind of look like that. 
uh, it will give you your location in the dock's location as well as a map of the area that you're at. Alright guys, and uh, this is the special attachment I was talking about. Uh, this one here uh, goes around your collar and uh, snaps in. The reason that I got that one is because Charlie's collar is round, it's leather round, and the reason being uh, with flat collars in the past, he's uh, gotten a lot of uh, mud hair around his neck, and this collar seems to be the only one that doesn't cost up for him. So, uh, when I was trying to use the original one here, as you can see, the way this works, as you can see, the way this one works, uh, you have these two ledges on the side, and then you just snap this in, and you put the collar through it. So with this collar, it's just too thick. It's too thick, and I can't do it. It's, it just doesn't snap in. So what they sent me was this special attachment, and this one works just great. So this one you're going to put it on the collar, put it through the ledge, adjust it to where it's tight and then just snap it in and uh, doesn't come off it's pretty sturdy okay guys so once the whistle 3 is ready to go uh, the same way that you put it on the charger you're gonna put it on the dog's collar you're gonna press it in and snap it and then you can attach it to your dog so Charlie's ready now Alright guys, Charlie is ready now, he's got his whistle 3 on, so now there's no way that he can go anywhere. This product, I will say, is uh, one, the price, it may seem too expensive uh, for, for some people, uh, but the other thing, it's what bothers me, is that uh, it, all, it doesn't always give you the exact location of your dog. For example, uh, when you set the perimeter around your uh, house, I would suggest that you make it a little bit bigger. Uh, than what your house is for the simple fact that sometimes your dog will move to a certain area of your house and uh, the device has trouble um, catching exactly where he's at. For instance, I had a, an incident one day where it said that Charlie, my dog, was 400 feet away from my house, uh, which freaks me out. Uh, I left work early, I ran home, and Charlie was sleeping on the couch. Um, I should have just updated the location because as soon as I hit that update button, it showed him inside. But it did freak me out because I thought that he had gotten out of my house somehow. So if you are going to get the whistle and you set the perimeter around your house, I would uh, do it a little bit uh, more than your backyard is or your limit lines. That way, um, that does not happen to you. Overall, I think the whistle 3 is an excellent tool to have. Um, just for the fact that you have peace of mind. You have peace of mind of where your pet is and if it ever gets lost, um, you won't have an issue uh, finding it. I know how stressful it is firsthand and I do not wish that upon anybody. Um, and that's exactly why I took the steps um, buying one of this or any uh, pet tracker for that matter. But this is the only one that I've ever used. All right guys, that is gonna be all for today's video. I'm taking this big guy on a walk and uh, then I'm gonna head back and uh, do some work. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have the best of days.